good morning for young lawyers and also for uh, the aspirant of uh, elevation from advocate to judicial officer or APP. You always should uh, concentrate on the, the the facilities, privileges, rights, duties for the prisoners who are convicted. That is also most important. For uh, what are the relevant provisions uh, for after conviction, the court has got power, the executive has got power to interfere with the affairs of the prisoners. And it was held uh, uh, that uh, the, even prisoners have got fundamental rights, though they are considered to be convict. See, oh, you kindly go uh, see 106 CR, uh, CS, CRPC, wherein the court can uh, impose certain conditions to execute the bond uh, if, he, if he was found guilty. That you should also concentrate. Then, uh, question of uh, remission, uh, modification all uh, vested with the uh, state government, namely the governor and consideration of the council of ministers. Apart from that, uh, uh, the prisoners, uh, uh, while languishing their imprisonment, uh, they are subject to certain prisoners act uh, offenses also. Feigning sick, uh, misbehaving with uh, so many things are there, then there will be a punishment. Then uh, question arises, grant of leave, parole, furlough, uh, uh, parole without escort, parole with, uh, with escort, all those things are there. You know, another vital aspect has been brought to the Supreme Court as to whether if any person is uh, released on parole, parole temporarily, whether that period will be considered for running of sentence. Suppose if a person already served sentence for uh, 12 years and uh, in between he was released on uh, parole for few months, uh, that few months will not be calculated uh, within that 12 years. It will be minus. This is aspect. Actually what had happened this is a case law, you can go through the entirety of the judgment if you are really interested because some, uh, some may approach uh, for you, even if you are a young lawyer, uh, these sort of cases may be knock your door on table to test your knowledge. Yeah, 2023, Supreme Court 1759, yeah, 2023, Supreme Court 1759, Anil Kumar versus State of Haryana. Actually, uh, the, there was an act, Haryana Good Conduct Prisoners Temporary Release Act, Act 28 of 1988. There, Section 3 clearly says if any person is released on uh, 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 parole or interim parole, that period shall not be considered for the purpose of actual imprisonment than the running of imprisonment. So, he was released on uh, parole during COVID period due to high power committee order 9-5-2021. The Supreme Court has uh, inter intervened uh, direction under 142, therefore it was being followed and he was released. Subsequently, when he sur surrendered, uh, he, he wants that this period shall not be uh, excluded period should be included for period of uh, his imprisonment. That the Supreme Court has negativated, stating that uh, as a final paragraph, uh, the Supreme Court has uh, uh, foresee certain things uh, and held, they say, uh, they say, uh, any prisoner who may be influential may get the parole for number of times and there is no restriction, it can be granted number of times and if the submission on behalf of the prisoner is accepted, it may defeat the very object and purpose of actual imprisonment. Therefore, they say it should not be, <coughs> uh, uh, it, the, the, the temporary period should, uh, shall not be uh, 
included as running of the uh, imprisonment. Therefore, parole has to be excluded. That period, interim parole has to be excluded. This is the uh, judgment. Then, question arises, what are the, what all are the other relevant pro uh, provisions uh, like uh, this period of uh, uh, remand? That and then you have to see 428 CRPC, wherein court, while convicting the prisoner, uh, if he can uh, uh, set up the period already undergone as a remand prisoners, that period, that should also be uh, looked into by young lawyers as well as the aspirants. Another thing is, if suppose run concurrently, if if a person is convicted uh, simultaneously for three or more cases. The court can also invoke 428 CRPC stating that the period may run concurrently. That means uh, uh, if he is having, having conviction for three cases, that all these three cases will run concurrently. Means in one case, if he completed two years imprisonment, that is enough in two other cases also. This is most important. Then another one more provision is also that which enables uh, that if you are convicted in an, any other case, by any other court, you may also apply the court who is impo imposing sentence later to run concurrent of that period also. This is time to time the judgment varies. Therefore, these all are the vital aspects you have to consider. And so far, uh, after conviction, there are other relevant pro provisions also. So that is 360. CRPC, uh, instead of conviction, he may be admonished. That was the provision. Then probation of offenders act. There is two categories of probation of offenders act. That uh, period, instead of sentencing, you may be allowed to allowed on probation under the watch of uh, probation, probation officer. Then uh, another uh, important aspect is CPA is between the 8, 19 to 21 years, adolescent prisoners, instead of sending him to prison, he may be detained at a Boston school. So, Boston Schools Act should also be looked into for the examination. So, if the topic was that, what all are the relevant provisions, privileges, rights and duties of the prisoners, one who was convicted, you may also looked into all these aspects. This is most vital thing is that. This is what uh, you have to go through the provisions uh, Bear Act uh, initially to understand the Bear Act. That is most important. Every word is being interpreted before the Honorable High Court. Even the other day uh, before the division bench of Justice Sundar uh, while dealing with the uh, these parole cases, uh, the judge was uh, interpreting every word uh, very intellectually. You should also, and another young man was also arguing the case uh, very intellectually. That is uh, that is called the law of interpretation. That only uh, give you uh, you, you uh, a star on your shoulder whenever you subsequently argue before uh, this, uh, this same judge. And uh, your colleague advocates may also admire you. That is the way, see, whenever, uh, when I started practice, uh, I had an occasion to hear a multi number of arguments like Siddhambaram, Siddhambaram, Goind Saminadan, Rajamanikam, permanent public prosecutor Rajamanikam, Sri Ramuluji, I Subramaniam, so many. Uh, even in civil cases, I had Vardachari uh, 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 and uh, the Asok Menon's father uh, in rent control cases. Uh, uh, when we, they, when they started uh, arguing, you can catch up multi number of points uh, uh, just uh, admiring their argument. Uh, this is the way Justice uh, our senior counsel N. Narajan. Uh, was explaining what is the infancy uh, of the currency notes. This is where they uh, 
yeah, but nowadays uh, i can't see the i i could see even senior advocates are uh, repeating uh, reading uh, unnecessarily wasting time and uh, to emphasize the court that is a senior uh, advocate that is the way nowadays we can't change all those things and uh, some few the few senior advocates are still not only see designated senior uh, the non designated senior like ngr prasad shankar subbu you know, they are arguing very well with uh, tip of points though because of uh, multi number of works uh, and uh, other uh, pressure due to young advocates uh, enthusiastic uh, approach and pesting standing behind uh, sometimes they may disturbed but uh, they are uh, at the point to argue so i saw many uh, argument uh, one selvaraj uh, very expert uh, in uh, educational field i, I want that those are those are young advocates uh, must be elevated as a judge because he is also very calm quiet uh, and play, pleasant in argument uh, and uh, at home with uh, points best wishes